Welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 180, Leaping Numbers, a great math activity for exploring patterns. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast, where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the recovering traditionalist and buildmathminds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. There used to be specific standards in certain grade levels involving having students do activities around patterns with numbers. The structure of our number system creates many amazing patterns and connections, and some educators were concerned when the new standards that came back out back in 2010, 2010, yes, uh, because there weren't specific grade level standards for exploring patterns. The reason for this is because students should be doing it at all grade levels, and therefore it was included in the standards of mathematical practice. The standards of math practice are the three pages before the actual grade level standards that line out eight items students should be doing to engage in the practice of mathematics. Math practice number seven is look for and make use of structure. It states that mathematically proficient students look closely to discern a pattern or structure. And then it goes on. But basically, students need to always be looking for patterns, applying them, and making conjectures based upon their discoveries. Like, when we add one, it's always the next number when we count. Or six times five is the same as five times six, and four times three is the same as three times four. So if we switch numbers around when we're multiplying, it doesn't matter. The answer stays the same. Math Practice 7 is about opening up the mathematics so that students have the opportunity to discover and use patterns, properties, and connections in order to become more flexible thinkers. And if you need a new fun way to explore patterns with your students, I want you to check out Steve Wyborny's newest activity, Leaping Numbers. When this podcast gets released, all the Leaping Numbers for Season 1 will actually already be released, but I checked with Steve and they will be available on his YouTube channel and his website. I'll link up both on the show notes page, which is buildmathminds.com slash 180 because we're on episode 180. For an explanation of leaping numbers, I'm pulling straight from the email from Steve. There are 20 short videos. Each one has a mystery pattern with a missing number, which turns into a clue. As the clues build up, a new mystery pattern emerges, leading to what is the final number on day 21. The challenge for everyone is to try to find the mystery number in day 21 before it is actually posted on November 21st. With each pattern, you'll pick up another clue. And as the clues come together, you'll discover the pattern and it will lead you to the answer in day 21. Now, as I said, all the leaping numbers have already actually been released, so you can't try to do the challenge of figuring out the bigger number pattern before all the patterns get released, but you can still work through all the leaping numbers with your students, and I'd highly recommend getting on Steve's email list or subscribing to his YouTube channel so you can get notified when season two gets released so you and your students can be a part of the challenge right when it comes out. Steve told me he's planning on releasing it probably in February. So start working on season one now. And in fact, it might be a great activity to keep your students engaged as we get closer to the holiday break. Plus, you get to help your students work on math practice number seven, look for and make use of structure. All right, my fellow recovering traditionalists, until next week, keep building math minds.